was about to say, until then. <laughs> He's organizing your Peace. life. Peace. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Elena. And I'm Tori. And this is our Faith and Family channel. If this is your first time, hi, welcome. We talk about faith, family, and everything in between. Today we are doing an assumptions video. So over on my channel, The Organized Money, I asked you guys to send me over some assumptions that you had about me. All of them were pretty much the same except for 10 responses. So what I decided to do is talk about all of those responses and have the hubby here react to those responses to tell you if you are right or if you are wrong. So that's what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first assumption is that you know yourself well. Do you feel like I know myself well? I do. I think you've always had a, a very clear understanding of who you are. What I think has happened recently though is that you've become more comfortable expressing who you are without uh, having to kind of downplay yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, I would agree with this. I feel like um, in the past, I have always known who I was, but I was, I've was i been afraid to express it, usually because, I don't know, I just didn't want to offend anybody else, or I just felt like people would judge me if I expressed fully who I was. But lately, I, I've been pretty comfortable yeah. <laughs> saying, Very comfortable. saying how I feel, expressing what I need to express, when I need to say it, and being true and honest to myself. I, I feel like I have definitely grown a lot in that area. So whoever made this assumption, good one, definitely on point. I feel like I do know myself well. I think so too. Okay. The next one is you are extremely organized. Nah. <laughs> I am not they extremely organized. I don't know where they got that from. <laughs> the organized money, extremely organized. You say I'm not organized? Where? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the most organized person that I know that I've ever met in my life. I would say the only person that I know is definitely your mom. my mom. Your mom. My mom yes. is way more organized than I am. Level. She's like on, if I am level B, like she is A top notch. She has taught me everything that I know. You're and stepping wolf. I, She's yeah. dark side. <laughs> I can say this, I am um, a very organized person. However, there are times where my home isn't organized or my space isn't organized and that's because I don't live alone. <laughs> and I have learned not to push my family, you know, to the point of insanity, trying to make y'all do everything that I want. But I do try and organize around them as much as possible. <laughs> I'm laughing because our daughters think <laughs> that her dream job is to be a janitor. <laughs> yeah, my daughters like really believed at one point that I loved cleaning so much that I wanted to be a janitor. Like that was my dream job just because I love to clean the That's house. The and I'm like, reason. no, no. <laughs> I don't I don't love doing this. I really wish y'all would do this. <laughs> Jeez. Instead, I wish y'all would. I, I wish my kids would just clean up everything behind themselves, but you know, sometimes I gotta do it. Yeah. It's fine. Most times. Most times. Most, all the time. All, but all I must say, y'all y'all are getting so much. We're getting better. there. You're getting, we're getting so, there. so much better. We got some work to do, but we're getting there. Third one, you are an extrovert. In actuality, absolutely not. <laughs> she is not. She is the furthest thing from an extrovert. Uh, she's just comfortable on camera. But when we go places, if she could, she would just, she would be on her phone looking down the whole time if she could. So I'm the the more extroverted one and I kind of pull her along mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in my extrovertedness. Yeah, I am definitely, definitely not an extrovert. I am a 100%, 110% introvert. Um, I love to read, I love to stay inside. I am the person who is in their perfect habitat if they are at 
home. I do express myself a lot on camera. I am, I do teach classes a lot. And in those moments, I feel like I have extroverted moments where I, you know, have to teach. Well, it, it's, it, it's, it depends on the subject matter, <laughs> it right? Does. Like, so there are certain subjects like money, like organization that, I'm, you can just talk right, about. Right. But even that, it's not an extroverted thing. <laughs> it's just you being excited about sharing knowledge. Right. If she could, she would share it with literally any and everybody. I, I still am like, mm, extrovert. No. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not an extrovert. I know I'm definitely not. I am way more of an introvert. It's just I have a YouTube channel, and that's just the way that I express myself. Yep. But... No. Number four, you have a gorgeously decorated home. I think... It's getting there. <laughs> it is certainly getting there, but I think this would be absolutely, totally, positively true if you lived by yourself. <laughs> it's in between. It's in this between. is in between. So, I have... Um, I am not a super decorative person i would say if you looked at my home it's way more minimalistic and we're and definitely functional. it's so functional, functional. Yeah, so sure. minimalistic it's it's way less decor and way more functional yeah. um and we're gonna do more of like you know home show <laughs> y'all heard that hesitation she, she you she's know, on we're the gonna, yeah no we're gonna show more of the home because <laughs> yeah, i do want to do like organization videos that are not just planner related so that you can see how we organize the home because space organization is a really big part yeah. of being organized overall so we will get into that on this channel as well but in general i am more of a minimalistic functional type person depends on your definition of beautifully <laughs> decorated yeah. so if you're looking for all of the decor all of these nice little trinkets and beautifully designed things no mm -hmm. i would not say that that's the case mine is a very clean minimalistic very functional space however it fits us perfectly because it that's who we are yeah number five wow. You are a very calm and loving person. <laughs> Absol absolutely. Watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a very calm and loving person until she just needs to don't not Don't cross be. me. Yeah. Don't cross no, no, no. No. Just. So for the most part, I would say that this is true. For the most part. It's true for the, for the most part. part. It is. It's for, for the most part. But... If there, there have been times where, like, y'all seen those memes on Instagram? It's like, you know, talk to me. I talk that. That's, yeah. that's like me. Yeah. Like, I'm calm. I'm cool. Unless you try and cross me or come at me, then I'm like, wait, why? No, no we're not going to do that. you're trying to play me. <laughs> you're, not, uh -oh. you're not about to do that. That's when the New Orleans accent. Oh, uh-uh. Because <laughs> you ain't been not playing me, baby. Oh. Like, where did that come from? That's when the other And then she can go right back over. into, hi, I'm Elena, <laughs> and this is the organized money. <laughs> so, yeah, I would definitely say that it, it, that's a fine line as well. I would... But in general, yes. Yeah, she's I would very consider, calm, now if very I, logical. Right. If I just met you and we're just talking and definitely calm loving all of that just you know there's always that other side that people will try and test you or come at you the wrong way and which yeah. references back to number one because <laughs> you know she used to kind of like shrink away from those moments like right. okay it's fine but now she's like oh no let me no, tell you let's, let's talk about let's this talk about and the... even if it's just a hey i'm not screaming and yelling at you but hey, we need to talk about this because this is not acceptable, yep. that kind of thing. Number six, you have OCD. This is the same thing uh, as number two with your mom. Mm -hmm. Like, you definitely have OCD, but you don't have your mom levels of right, OCD. Right, right. Like, at least not yet. And, and I would say, you know, OCD is... It's a strong word. That's for a strong what term. Because I think people who have OCD, like cannot function right. if things are not a certain right. way. Like an inability to, 
to function and she doesn't have that like right. there are things that she'd be like Ugh, I just wish I just y'all would pick this. up your shoes I just wish <laughs> y'all would pick up your shoes but it doesn't like stop her mm-hmm. from functioning yeah so it is basically if a space is not organized not messy it will bother me but I can function but it would still bother me. There is that line to where if it bothers me too much, I just have to stop and I have to clean it. I have to make it, you know, I have to pull it together. But for the most part, if I really need to get something done, even if the space is a mess, I can make it work. I can work around it. So in that case, I don't I don't have OCD. I don't yeah. believe that OCD, I have OCD is a strong is a strong term. term, but I you got do, preferences. Yeah, I have strong <laughs> you like, preferences. You like things a certain strong way. organizational preferences mm-hmm. that I do like things to be a certain way. Number seven, you have it all together, and your home is immaculate. Well, it depends on what you mean by all together, <laughs> uh, because nobody has it all right together we all have areas um we struggle in um but for the most part i think you're pretty well t- put together you know what i mean like you you know you and your home again would be immaculate <laughs> if you weren't married with small kids right like so there are definitely times where okay i can say this i have it all together when I have my planner. If if I have my planner and I've written everything down and yeah. I know exactly what I'm going to do and how I'm going to execute things, oh, I'm on it. However, if things kind of throw a wrench in my plans and I don't have my planner and I wasn't able to get organized, I wasn't able to kind of set myself up, then I'm a mess. I'm all over the place. Just as I feel like most of us are. Mm-hmm. Like I have to have my systems. I have to have my routines. That's why I put them in place because without them, I really am a mess. And it's the same thing for the house. Like with the house, if we're able to keep the routines of everything being like together and like cleaning up this a certain way. And usually we have Saturday cleanups. We have things that we do with the girls where we get them on a routine, then it's good. But if like we had renovations for two months that's that's the uh, exception (laughs) not the rule right (laughs) so when we were like in the midst of renovations all of the routines were out the window everything was kind of like all over the place and the house was a mess for literally two months and so now we're like getting she was was itching and stuff (laughs) It's, it's like a of, it, it's, it's a, a lot of stuff everywhere. It's a long time. It was yeah, a, long a long time. time. <laughs> but I I do feel like you know once we kind of get the routine and get everything back on track and get the girls on routine, then yeah, I'm good. Like yeah, everything is good. Number eight, your mom was a planner. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and and not even just a planner. My mom is the planner. Like. Yeah. If there is a top-notch person who taught me every single thing that I know and then some, it's my mom. And she's still that way. Her her house has always been immaculate. Even when we were younger, uh, my mom was always the person that had an immaculate home. She would... Uh, she always made sure with our schooling, all of our homework was organized. Like every single thing that she touches has my entire life has always been organized and orderly. And she definitely taught me everything I knew. I got my first agenda planner when I was in fifth grade and she's the one that taught me how to use it. And I've been a planner ever since. So yes, kudos to mom. Mom was definitely a planner. House, it looks amazing even to this day. She mops like every every other day. (laughs) Every hour. Yeah. <laughs> She's like a super, super clean person. And yes, yeah, she taught me everything. Number nine, you have always been an organizational wizard. Well, I mean, for as long as I've known you, yeah. you have been. And like you just said, you got your first planner at five. Yes. So, I mean, well, no, five, fifth, fifth grade. grade. <laughs> so I was like 10. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not five, 10. Because that's what most 10 year olds are doing. Well, writing in their planner. 
the thing is, is because my mom was the way that she was and taught me the different things, I have pretty much all always been a planner and always have attempted at organization. Now, there have been times where I like veered away from it, veered away from my routines, mm-hmm. didn't use my planner as much like as I was supposed to. <laughs> like when, like when you got no, married. but really through life changes. So in different seasons of my life, like when I first got into college, my very first year in college, I actually didn't do well because it was a hard transition from high school to college mm-hmm. for me. And all of the things that I didn't have to plan in high school i had to learn how to plan very quickly in college so it's just all of those type of things whenever i had a life season change i would stop planning but i realized as i got older that that was a really big mistake but overall for the most part of my life i have pretty much been an organized person and number 10 you may look soft but you're no pushover (laughs) <laughs> All right, so when I met her, I had two cell phones. I was carrying two cell phones. Honestly, don't ask me why. I don't, I don't know why. I thought it was just a cool thing, you know? I like, I was in church. It was like, no, like, you know, hit me on the other phone. It was none <laughs> of that. I just had two of them. One, oh, you know why? One, I kept my, I'm originally from the Maryland uh, area, right outside of Washington, D.C., PG County, DMV. But anyway, uh, I had one so I could keep my 301 area code. Oh. And then I had another one for my, my 504. new 504 area code. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm not a planner, and I certainly wasn't then. One day, she tried to call me, and the phone was off. <laughs> it was, you know, it was disconnected. She's like, why your phone disconnected? I'm like, I don't know. I guess I didn't pay the bills. <laughs> sure. She's like, well, how much is your bill? I was like, about oh, like seven, eight hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. She was like, wait, what? Seven hundred dollars for a phone bill, guys. She was like, what are you paying for? I was like, two phones. <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. You know, they wouldn't be overcharging me on purpose. They would. They right. would never do that. Why? Right. So I tried to call and get some explanations and it was kind of like go around, come around type of story. Mm-hmm. Like, no. And so she took the phone. Talk to me. And she was like, okay, I got it. Excuse me. Hello? Who is this? Okay, <laughs> hi. I'm, I'm Elena. Okay. <laughs> I'm her. I'm, I'm Tori's uh, I, what did you call you? Girlfriend. You, you, I, I don't think you said like, but she didn't say what she actually was. She said like she was something else, and then she went to work on them folks. You hear me? She went to work for well, about thirty minutes. I just printed out the bill, and then I was able to go line by line and like what's walk that for? Through. What's yeah, that charge walk for? Walk through the different charges. But all I had to say, no, I am not a pushover. I'm definitely more like because i'm so detailed i need the full explanation of whenever i'm spending my money my time anything i really like to know all of the details and more than likely you're not going to try and get over Mm -hmm. on me or anyone that i love especially you know my friends and family because i want to make sure that People don't try and take advantage of here's you. All I, here's what I know. After that conversation, my phone bill was like $200 yeah. a month. <laughs> she went to work on those folks. Because in the end, they were overcharging him. And once we went line by line, I was like, okay, you don't need this. You don't need that. They were just adding in a bunch of stuff because they could. Because they knew he was not paying attention. And that's what companies will do. So, Yeah. <laughs> Your audience did a pretty good job, though. Yeah, no, these were really, really the good only assumptions. one that was off was the extrovert. Yeah, that I think that was the only one that was off, but all of the other ones pretty much spot on. So, kudos to y'all! Thank you so much for joining us on this video. Make sure that you subscribe, and if you aren't following me over on the organized money, make sure that you head over there as well because you know we talk about organization, planning, and money. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.